Hi everybody, Dr. Gustin here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Kahoot and post it on our discussion page so other students can, can try it out. So what you're going to do is, I have it bookmarked, and you just want to go to Kahoot.com. Kahoot.com. Now I already have a, uh, I've already signed up, but if you haven't, there'll be a link here that says sign up, and you'll be able to, to log in and um, I would definitely recommend signing up for the free account. You shouldn't have to pay for this. There's upgrades you could you could do, but there's no need for what we're doing. So sign up for an account, and then eventually you'll just be able to log in. And to create the Kahoot, uh, it's actually pretty easy. S my internet is a little bit slow. I'm at I'm recording this on my home internet and so it gives you an idea of some of the lag that you might see. If you're on campus or you have um, cable internet or something faster than I have, um, it'll take a little bit faster I hope. So here we are. There we go. And what I see first is over here are my cahoots and so I've made 21 cahoots and if you want to make a new cahoot you just click on create and I recommend doing this right here, New Kahoot. You can look at these other things if you want, but that's what I'm going to do. And then you just type in your question. And I'm going to say, um, what is the longest bone oops, in the body? And you can put in your answers. If you want to put an image there, you can. The humerus, the patella, the femur or the radius and the right answer I'm going to click is the femur and so you can see that um, that'll be my first question you can adjust uh, the different kinds of questions the time the points all that kind of stuff but um and then you can also add more questions so for um, you know you want to typically do five or ten or whatever number of questions make sense for your assignment and when you're done with that you just click done now I can click a title here and I'm just going to do um, test number one and you can write a description of what you what you did and then continue. And you can do all these things. Test the Kahoot, play, play it now or share it with others. And I'm just going to say uh, done. And I did that just so you can see here's all the Kahoots I've made over over the years and here's the one we just made and so in order to put this on our blackboard page um, I probably would play it and test it make sure you didn't make any mistakes but just in the interest of time I'm going to um, oh actually I'm going to go to play for now but you might want to practice it yourself I'm going to go to play and then I'm going to do a sign so you want to make sure for this um, we're going to do a sign. If you were doing it with a class, you would do it teach. But I'm going to click on a sign. And um, what you can do is you can let anybody do this that you want. And um, you can set when they're going to do it or when it's going to stop being available. So for um, my purposes, let's see. I want it to be do I want them to have it done Sunday the 21st. I'll make it at the end of the week just like we do for our other assignments. And um, remember we usually have it end at 11.59 p.m. But you'll notice I can't change the numbers so this ends at 11 p.m. So what I would recommend is make it midnight on Monday. Okay so I change it to Monday and then midnight, it remember, is 12 a.m. So I'm going to go right at the beginning. And that will end at um, midnight at the end of the day on Sunday. Okay. Um, you can leave the timer on or off if you want people to hurry up or not. Um, and you can see some of these other things. So I'm going to then press Create. And now to make this available to students, um, I need to copy this URL, this web address, okay? So it just says right here, copy URL. So it's highlighted, so that's copied. Now I want to go back to my Blackboard course. So I'm going to go there. i got to go to Blackboard. 
wait for my course. There it is. There's our course. And I'm going to post this in discussions. And this is going to be, uh, I'm going to put it under week three discussion. And so I click on there and I can create a thread just like you would with a normal discussion. Now the title you want to use is tell us what's in there if it's a Kahoot. And then you can just um, copy and paste, or you can just paste that URL in there. Remember you can do control um, V, control C, copy, control V for paste. And it's in there, but notice it's not, um, it's not an active link. So the student, if they were to use this link, they'd have to copy it and paste it into the bar up here to get to that. So another way to make it a little bit easier on your classmates, you don't have to do this, but um, it's available to you. You can see this little link right here. And we click on the link. Notice it says source URL. <coughs> click on that. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're going to paste that address in there. So again, you do control V. Okay. Now right here is a little submit. You have to click that. Now if you want to give an alt text, you don't want it to say that address. You want it to say Brenda's Kahoot. You could do that. Um, or you can just submit it. And you submit it again. And you'll notice, oh, now look at the link is active. Okay. So you can do it either way. If you're worried about um, all these extra clicks, you can always make people copy and paste. That's fine. And then down here you do submit. Now when you go into, so I'll go back there. There's the discussions. You're going in discussion week three. Um, oh, there's, there's a Kahoot by Brenda Gustin. So I'm going to click on that. And there it is. Um, here's the, the address that you can copy highlight it and do a control C and then go up here and do a control V for copy and paste or you can just click on this link and that should get us to the Kahoot ready get set Kahoot Where is it? Okay. And it asks you to give a name. So I'm just going to give my initials. BG. Okay, let's go. And there's our test that we made. Three, two, one. Okay, here it goes. Quiz. And here's what's the longest bone in the body. And so the time that I set is the time I'll have to take this. So you want to click the right answer. I'm going to click femur. And you'll notice I said it's correct. And I'm going to go to the next question. Oh, remember, we only had one question, right? So <laughs> that's it. That's our whole quiz. Um, but under if there were more questions, there'd be more next and you could keep going to the next question. Remember right here, it says save this link. If you want to come back and see um, where you are compared to all the other people that took it. So you can copy that link, um, save it on your uh, bookmark or whatever you, you know, however you want to save it and come back and look at it later on. So that's how you make a Kahoot and post it on our, on our discussion board.